Sarah Ferguson and Meghan Markle are not two people usually put together, but their stories are almost eerily similar. Fergie knows all too well what it's like to be married to a member of the royal family and all the pressure that comes with it. She was married to Prince Andrew for 10 years before the couple announced their amicable breakup in 1992. The 63-year-old Duchess of York also knows what it's like to be pushed out into the cold by royalty and rebuild her life in America. And in a strange coincidence, it was the Duchess of Sussex who helped the mothers of Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie return to the royal family. At an event promoting the book The Most Intriguing Lady, Fergie was asked what advice she would give Princes Harry and Meghan about a public marriage. I think the best way to answer that question is to really take yourself and lead by example. I wouldn't give advice, I would say your actions speak louder than words, she said. Fergie, who was very close to Harry's mother, the late Princess Diana, also said she and King Charles would be proud of him. She added, Diana and I played a lot and had a great time. I feel she would have been as proud of her grandchildren and her family as the king was. I think forgiveness is the most important thing. While the late queen was always partial to her former and beloved daughter-in-law, Prince Philip called her strange and meaningless. For years, Sarah, prone to scandal, was not invited to weddings and other important family events. Prince William, Peter Phillips and Zara Tyndall were pageboys and bridesmaids at Fergie's wedding to Prince Andrew, but she was not invited to Will's wedding to Kate Middleton in 2011 or the wedding of Princess Anne's children. However, the Duchess of York made her big comeback when she attended Harry and Meghan's wedding in 2018. Talking about what was going through her mind at the Good Morning Britain show, she explained, I felt very happy for my friend Diana, who I love, and my mom and dad, and I felt honored and grateful that Harry and Meghan invited me. It was very nice of them, and I don't think I could thank them enough for it because it was nerve-wracking, but I knew I was ready. Fergie always said that Princess Diana, with whom she was particularly close, would have been proud of Harry and Meghan. It later emerged that Sarah first met Meghan shortly before the former costume actress was to get her first audience with Queen Elizabeth II. Meghan said she hadn't studied the royal family when she first started dating Harry and didn't fully understand what the job was, but luckily Fergie was on hand to quickly teach her. In her scandalous interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan said, I remember Harry and I are driving in the car and he says, OK, my grandmother's there. So you're going to meet her. But she was surprised when Harry asked if she knew how to curtsy. Megan said, I thought that was part of the fanfare. I don't think that's what's going on inside. And I said, but that's your grandmother. Then she had to learn very quickly at the entrance to the royal box with Fergie. Megan explained, right in front of the lodge we practiced and ran inside. Fergie ran out and said, do you know how to do a curtsy? Apparently, I did a very deep curtsy, I don't remember it, and then we sat and chatted. Harry corroborates this account in his memoir, The Spare, where he describes the moment when his aunt helped his partner. As we walked to the door, Fergie and I both leaned against Meg, whispering short reminders, Harry wrote. When you first meet the Queen, it's your majesty. After that, it's just ma'am. Rhymes with ham. Sarah declined to condemn the Sussexes for their decision to leave the royal family, she has a lot of experience with the issue. Earlier this month she told the Daily Mail, I don't believe anyone has the right to judge another person. I'm not in a position to make any judgments myself. I've been judged all my life, and I have no judgment about the Sussexes. After it was revealed that Harry and Meghan would be evicted from Frogmore Cottage, the Duchess of York said she can understand why her nephew decided to pack up and move abroad. But Fergie recently admitted that she doesn't know the Duchess of Sussex very well, since they dated only briefly, but she's sure Meghan really loves Harry. She added that she spoke to Meghan at the Queen's funeral and thought the Duchess looked absolutely beautiful.